Hello everybody, welcome back to more Fire Emblem in the last episode. We started the game in the prologue, Girl of the Plains, where oops, I didn't do that. Where we met Lin. <clears throat> the apprentice tactician Mark and the young sword fighter Lin, a strange pair on an even stranger journey. To prepare for the long road ahead, they go to Bulgur, the commercial center of Sake. Unbeknownst to Lin, she will discover something that will alter her life forever. Yeah, she just kinda wants to go somewhere. And I, and we just kind of tagged along with her, so I was like, hey, cool. We woke up in her tent, so she's like, what's up? <laughs> anyway, chapter one, Footsteps of Fate. Mark, over here! This is Bulgur, the biggest city in all of Sakai. We should purchase supplies for our journey. Oh, my heart, what a dazzling vision of loveliness! Huh? Wait, oh, beauteous one! Would you not favor me with your name? Or better yet, your company? Where are you from, Sir Knight, that you speak so freely to a stranger? Ha! I thought you'd never ask! I am from Lycia. I hail from the Kaelin Canton, home to men of passion and fire. Shouldn't that be home to callow oaks with loose tub damn? Ooh, you're even lovely when you're cruel. Let's go, Mark. I have nothing more to say. Wait, please! Sane, hold your tongue! Ah, Kent, my boon companion, why so severe an expression? If your manner were more serious, I wouldn't have to be so severe. We still have a mission to complete, Sane. I know that, but how could I remain silent in the presence of such beauty? It would have been discourteous. What do you know of courtesy? Excuse me if you're blocking the road, if you would be so kind as to move your horses. Of course, my apologies. Thank you, you at least seem honorable enough. Hmm? Pardon me, but I feel we've met before. I beg your pardon? Hey, no fear, Kent! I saw her first! <sighs> it seems there are no decent men among Lysia's knights. Let's go, Mark. I ran out of patience. Bye, dudes. Wait, please! It's not like that! <sighs> Saying you lout! Huh? Not like that? I thought you were... I am NOT you! Come, we must follow her. I suspect she might be. Be what? She's our missing? You're joking. Wait! Run! We're being pursued! Could it be those knights from town? No, it's not them. These men are out for blood! <laughs> Aren't you the pretty one? Your name is Lindis, is it not? What did you call me? Who are you? Such a waste. An absolute waste. The things I'll do for gold. Oh well, time to die, darling. Come on out, boys. The goo- oh, there's a lot of them. Oh no, there are more than I can handle. But I'll not give up. Hey, there she is. Huh? What? Whew, finally caught up. Hold, you there. What is your business? Such numbers against a girl? Cowards, every one of you. You, you're from- we can discuss that later. It appears these ruffians mean to do you harm. If it's a fight they want, let them look to me. Stand back, I'll take care of this. No, this is my fight, stay out of my way. Well, I can't. I just can't stand here and do nothing. I have a solution. You there, command us. I am Kent, a knight of Lycia. My companion is sane. We will follow your orders in this battle. Is this acceptable, milady? Yes, it is. Mark and I will lead. Let's go. And... We have two new units here. You, you are called Mark. I want to impress my beauteous one. Let me attack first! The yeah, blue units are allies. If Lynn is defeated, we get a game over. If other units die, it's fine, but, you know, we don't want to let other people die. So, anyway, we have... We first, we have Kent here. He is a Cavalier. Cavaliers are good units. They have the ability called Canto, which allows them to... To attack, and depending on how much movement they have left, they can retreat that distance as well. This goes for both your allies and enemy units, so be careful of that. Uh, so here we have uh, Kent. He has E and lances, D and swords. So we want to get up his lance level soon. But there are a lot of axemen here. So as the weapon triangle states, swords beat swords beat axes, axes beat lances, and lances beat swords. There's a little bit more to that, but we'll get into that when we get into that. And here we have. Uh, Sane, he is also a Cavalier like his partner Kent, 
And he also doesn't have a sword, so he thinks that being the first person to attack a guy with an axe is a great idea. Also, this torch, this, the torch is going to make this map go super slowly, unfortunately, so, uh, anyway, here we go. Sane misses, and he gets hit. Excellent work, soldier. Whoa, I missed? Sane, why aren't you using your sword? The lance is more heroic. A knight should look heroic, don't you think? You're hopeless. If you don't take fighting more seriously, you're going to find yourself at the end of a blade. Truth be told, I forgot to buy a sword. Forgot? Or were you simply too busy dallying with the ladies? Don't be so mad. I'll be fine with the lance. I'm that good. I'd prefer to rely on your skill, not your empty bragging. <sighs> take my spare blade and use it to attack next time. Are you sure? My thanks, Kent. You're almost more trouble than you're worth. Almost. And now, Sane gets an iron sword. Mark! Allow me to make up for my companion's blunder. I am at your command! Yes. Weapon triangle. Let me think fuck Kent, but before we do that, let me, uh... I don't want the text to auto-scroll. I think if we do... Yes, animation with background. That's what I want to do. So another thing about cavalry units are they get slowed down by forest. They can try they can traverse through forest, they just go by extremely slow. Which reminds me, I also I played a uh, Fire Emblem 4, Genealogy of the Holy War. Great story. Uh screw those maps though, that was not fun. So, as you can see, Kent is more competent than sane here. He's almost defeated. Now, let's deliver the final blow! I also just kind of miss reading dialogue like this. I like voice acting. So Blim gets more experience. Now it's the enemy phase. Mark, give me another chance! Alright, alright, buddy. Brandish your blade! And he still misses! Excellent job, Zane! Yeah. Zane, are you alright? Yes, yes I am. I was able to dodge in time. Can't believe he evaded my sword stroke so easily. This is no jest. Look closely. The enemy is hidden in the woods. The branches make it difficult to attack, don't they? You're right. I was so focused on attacking, I didn't see. Your lack of attention may someday cost you your life. Fine, I understand already. Let it go, Kent. If you truly understand, then act like it! Kent worries too much. He's growing to go old before his time. <laughs> yes. I actually didn't explain this, but, um... Okay, yeah. Since he is standing on a forest tile, he has plus one defense and plus twenty avoid. Both you and your allies can use this to your advantage. And when I say you and your allies, I just mean you. Seems like, a, seems like a wise decision to lead that band of the night. So yeah, let him get faded by Kent and Sane, take Lin over here, and put her on the force dial. These scripted chapters go by very slowly, which is very unfortunate, especially when you already know how to play the game. I would like to play on hard, but as I said, it, it, it's fine. I don't mind. You, your name is Sane, right? Yes, Sane, the gallant man of Kaelin, that's me! If you insist, why have you not healed yourself? Huh? Hey, I've been injured? What a cat I am. To wrinkle that perfect brow of yours with a worry for me. Uh, I was thinking of giving you a vulnerary, but it looks like you're fine, so never mind. Jeez, Lynn. No, wait, I'll take it. Please, I'll take it. Yes, we can now use the trade command, so take Sane. I can't keep such a generous offer waiting. The healing power of love awaits the yawn angel. Mark, tarry no longer! Yeah. Bring him to Lynn. Can... I'll give him the give him the vulnerability that she used in the last chapter. Press B. And now he can heal. Like, I wonder how vulnerabilities work. You just, like, rub it against your open wounds. I assume that... I always assume that's how it would work. Ah, much better. Thanks, Mark. 
And you have my gratitude as well, my angel. <laughs> oh man. So now we have to just route the enemy. Now we can play the game how I want to how we, how we can play the game without any distraction. So Ken's gonna kill this guy, he's gonna get some experience. And the mo and the optimal thing to do here is to let this guy come to Lynn and get faded. Even though she's not gonna kill him because her attack is low, but she will do enough damage. Sandy just kinda eat shit this chapter, so he's not I can kinda give him some experience. I feel like Lynn, Lynn's gonna level up off the boss. So yeah, redeem yourself! So he's not a bad unit, he just he just has a bit of trouble. Here. So uh, if you click on an enemy, you can see how far they move. This is their danger zone. I do like how they have the danger zone in a later Fire Emblem game, such as Awakening, Fates, and Shadows of Olympia. You don't have to keep constantly checking. And it's the one thing that makes Radiant Dawn's hard mode so difficult, since you can't see the enemy, the danger, the danger zone. I'm slowly working my way on a Radiant Dawn playthrough, but that is neither here nor there. I'm gonna have Lynn kill this guy, get a level up. Can we get a good level up like we did in the first chapter? Let's see. Yes, we can! Let's go, Lynn! And this is all the victory music. Is he gonna move? I don't think he is. Nope, okay, we can swarm him. I'll put sand on this forest tile. Uh, I guess I'll bring Kent up here too. Actually, I'll let, I'll let Zane draw him in. Zane? Sane. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention that I just saw it. Uh, Constitution, that is the stat under move. This is how much a unit weighs. Uh, the rescue command works on if a unit weighs less than somebody else. So... I'm still gonna use this, I'm sorry. Uh, <clears throat> Zane and Kent both have 9 constitution, so they're able to carry Lin. And the, this also helps with weapon weight. The, I can, I do not know how to maneuver the screen. It's been so long, I'm sorry. This is very unprofessional. Whatever, we'll talk about it later. Weapons, weapons have weight. Weight is something I completely forgot about because they uh, got rid of it in Awakening and later games. He doesn't move either. So if a weapon weighs more than a character's strength, then they won't be able to double. Accursed knights, always tampering in the affairs of others. I don't remember what voice I gave him. Ooh. So we can't do this now, but there's a little thing called the uh, boss abuse, where if a boss is standing on a gate where they're constantly gaining HP, you can just attack them constantly. You can break their weapon, attack them constantly, and just constantly gain the XP since they give so much when you just encounter them. It's it's a good grinding technique. It's very often used. I did this once before in Radiant Dawn, which you should watch because that is my third favorite game ever. And Kent's going to kill the boss. Blast. There was only supposed to be a lone girl. But you didn't expect the tactician who really can't do much in combat. <laughs> Hey, Ken with a solid level up, let's go. That's the last of them. Fantastic work, Mark. Thank you, thank you, I try. And now for these Knights of Lycia. You were going to share your story with me? Yes. We have ventured from Kaelin in Lycia in search of someone. Lycia, that's the country beyond the mountains in the southwest, isn't it? Correct. We've come as messengers to, la to the Lady Madeline, who eloped with a, with a nomad some 19 years ago. Madeline? Our lord of the... Our lord of... Wait, I'm sorry, I can't read. Our lord, the Marquess of Kaelin's only daughter. He was heartbroken in his own... He... Oh, gee, I am sorry, okay. He was heartbroken. His own daughter would abandon him so. Eventually, the Marquess simply declared that he no longer had a daughter. And then this year, we received a letter from Lady Madeline. It said that she... Her husband and their daughter were living happily on the Sakai Plains. The Marcus was ecstatic to learn that he had a granddaughter of 18 years. I remember that smile of his on his face when he announced that he'd suddenly become a grandfather. The granddaughter's name is Lindis. 
This was also the name of the Marquis's wife, who passed away at, the, at an early age. Lindis? That she should bear this name thawed the Marquis's heart. Now, he only wishes to meet his daughter's family at least once. This is why we're here. We didn't know that Lady Madeline died a few days after sending her letter. We only learned this shortly after we arrived here in Bulgaria. But we, all, but we also learned all was not lost, his daughter yet lives. We heard that she was living alone on the plains. I, I knew it immediately. You are the Lady Lindis. Why would you think that? Your resemblance to your departed mother is remarkable. What? Did you know my mother? I'm sorry to say I, was never, I never met her directly, but I saw her portraits in Castle Kaelin. The rest of my tribe, to the rest of my tribe, I was always Lynn, but when I was with my parents, and it was just the three of us, I was Lindis. It's also strange. I was alone. I was all alone in the world, and now I have a grandfather, Lindis. Never thought I would hear that name again. Wait, that bandit! He called me Lindis too. What? How could he have? He was a henchman of Lord Ludrigan, wasn't he? Ludrigan? Who's that? He's the Marquess's younger brother. Everyone assumed the Lady Madeline was gone forever. This made Lord Ludrigan the heir to the Marquess title. To be blunt, my lady, your existence is an obstacle to your granduncle's am ambitions. That's... but I have no interest in inheriting any title. I don't think he cares. Unfortunately, your granduncle is not the sort of man to believe that. I believe the attempts on your life will persist. What should I do? Accompany us to Kaelin. Continuing in this way is dangerous. I feel I have little choice. I will go with you. Hey, I mean... Yeah. I mean, I don't know where we were going anyway, so I guess we have an objective now. Yes, I'll come with you. Not a problem, Lynn. But that is the end of Chapter 1, Footsteps of Fate. So I will see you guys next time for Chapter 2. Have a nice day, everybody.